I'm with Mike Coretta, Associate Professor of Automotive Technology, and as you can see, we are not behind a desk today. That is a good thing. Um, I like to get out of the office once in a while. We are in the Gadelsky Center's Automotive Lab, and in a couple of minutes, Mike will be teaching an, a hybrid electric vehicle course. And I guess to start off, um, for us mechanical novices, tell me a little bit about what a hybrid actually is. A hybrid electric vehicle is a vehicle that has two means of propelling the car down the road. It has an internal combustion engine, whether it be a diesel or gasoline engine, and then it has an electric motor powered by a battery that can also propel it down the road. So the students that come here to take the HEV, hybrid electric vehicle course, um, what type of folks are you seeing here? Um, you're not talking about just the person like me that doesn't know much about cars that's going to come in here and take the course. Who, who's in your class tonight? Uh, we're getting people that are out in the industry working on the vehicles currently. Uh, we're getting a lot of people from uh, that work on fleet vehicles that have these in their fleet. Uh, county, uh, we got some DC Public Work students coming in today and from some other county organizations that have them in their fleet and these uh, technicians need to learn how to work on them because even though they do have an internal combustion engine, they are still quite different than just a typical car and they need to know the differences between those. Okay, so they are in, in a sense mechanics. Correct. Um, Talk a little bit. Talk a little bit about we were discussing earlier mm -hmm. um, off camera about the progression. Um, you said you were working in high school in '87. You were yeah. working on cars. Right. Talk a little bit about the progression and actually where the vehicle world stands today. Well, when I started working on cars in 1987, you know, fuel injection was still kind of in its infancy, and uh, you know, we were just getting into the electronics, moving away from carburetors into fuel injection. So it was kind of a little bit easier back then. Maybe had one or two computers that had to manage all the you know electronics on the car where nowadays you can have five to 25 computers on a car managing you know, all the systems on the car nowadays. Trans controllers, uh, body controllers, engine controllers, you know, you know, memory seat heat, heater controllers that control the, the seats, the power seats and the mirrors and the windows that tie all that stuff together. So they're very complicated nowadays. And there is, uh, you were telling me again, a little bit off, uh, off camera, there's difference between uh, the hybrid electric vehicle and then there's another car behind me. Um, tell us a little bit about the, uh, the intricate differences between these vehicles that you guys are going to be working on in a little while. Right. Well, the hybrid electric vehicle, like I said, has the two means of propelling it, either battery operated or by the internal combustion engine. And a, a pure electric vehicle like the Nissan Leaf that we have right here behind you is strictly electric. So you'd have to plug it in. Literally plug yeah, it in. Yeah, you literally yeah. plug it in. What, usually when you get home, if they have a plug-in station, maybe somewhere at you where you work, maybe they have something like that. So, so that's the main difference is a pure electric vehicle just has one means of propelling the car down the road where the hybrids have, have two. So when the battery gets low in your Prius, then the internal combustion engine will kick on and can drive the car down the road and you know, recharge the battery while it's driving or while it's braking. Okay, and the course itself, it's not, this is a short course, and just tell us about um, how long the course is and uh, what you're going to kind of receive when you, when you uh, finish the course. Right, it's a, we do it over the course of three consecutive evenings, uh, well three weeks, we do it on Mondays, so we do one Monday and then you know, two after that, uh, and it's four, night, four hours each, so it's 12 hours total. And this is just a very basic class. I mean, we kind of just scratch the surface onto what these vehicles are about. And it's just like I said, just kind of pointing out the difference between a hybrid and a regular car. I mean, you know, like for example, on this hybrid here, you know, if you're sitting in a traffic light, the engine will cut off. Well, if it's the summertime and it's 100 degrees outside, where am I going to get happen. my air conditioning from, right? <laughs> right. So the, a the AC compressor also has to be driven electrically and you know other things electric power steering and and just electric water pumps so there are some differences between the two and that's kind of what we go over in the class and then we have a, a hybrid transmission we take apart so the students can take a look at the electric motors that are inside of it and then on our final day uh, we go over battery safety and just you know working on these things because it's high voltage here 300 volts if wow. it hits you right it can kill you okay so we need to go over we go over safety with them and then we have them take them out in the parking lot and we hook scan tools up to them and let them drive them around so we can see what the motor gear one is doing, motor gear two is doing, and, and things like that. So they kind of have an understanding of you know, where the power flow is coming from. Is it coming from the engine? Is it coming from one of the motors? Is it, is it recharging? You know, what, what's taking place inside of there? And we can look at that with our scan tools that we have here at the school. And then when you're done with the 12 hours, you get a workforce development and continuing education certificate. Correct. Um, and a lot of folks are actually doing that from the public sector mm -hmm. um, and doing it for their jobs to get that certificate. So um, I think that's about uh, all the time we have today, Mike. I want to thank you no uh, for letting us come in here into this into this garage and uh, getting me 
away from my desk, so I appreciate <laughs> that. For Campus Conversations, I'm Marcus Rosano.